Welcome to Upcar Chat Online. I'm Chef Lim. So today we start a bit late because due to some technical problem. Okay. And then our side can also will be have some connection problem so that in future you want to refer back the recipe, you can we will upload the new video. Okay. You can check on that. So today we will do bush chocolate from Boa, which is the chocolate log. That's very favorable with the chocolate. Okay. So I have do about three uh, recipe here. One is a syrup, another one is a spun, ganache, and the raspberry jam. So first thing, the syrup I already cook. So very simple. I just add the alcohol inside, which is the cream de cassis, which is black currant flavor alcohol. If you don't have, you can use ribena or. Another one, back current puree also you can replace with that. Okay, so we put aside for later use. And mix well and put aside. So next I will go through is the chocolate sponge. So we'll make some ayon first. I will add half part of sugar over here. If you just add the egg yolk, you beat also very nice, but a bit unstable because uh, sugar also help you to provide the stability for your sabayon. No need bad memory. We just mix well and then we're using the high speed grate the sabayon. Cocoa powder and the cake flour combined together. Meanwhile waiting, I will melt the butter inside the microwave. Now I will sift the flour with the cocoa powder. Then we put one side like that. Okay, for the temperature, preheat is 180 degrees Celsius. Alright. I'll show you the sabayon. You need to be until ribbon stage. This is the fully copper the air. Okay. You can check, they can draw egg, then okay. It will be a bit more. In another bowl, I will ready the egg white. Make sure a bowl is no water and fat or flour inside because it will affect the meringue braise and then the texture. Okay. Once your sabayon become thick, then you can stop it. Okay, like that. Okay, the moving slow. So we will put one side, and now I will do the meringue. Medium speed. Once you see the bubble great, then you add the sugar. I divide it to two parts. So I'll add the first part first. Let it brew the body first. Once the meringue foam, I will add second part. We need to beat until the meringue is the medium. Medium hard like that. So I'm preparing the tray is the 30 to 40. Or maybe like that will be good. Okay. okay. 30, 40, taxi pen. Alright, medium hot. Okay. 
base foam. Okay. So now I will add one part of the meringue over here. So we do as per normal fold. Alright. Alright, once the mixer will become like that. So I wear in first part of the flour and the cocoa powder. The gentle fold. Don't one shot at all because the cocoa powder will absorb all the sabayon. Then they will grate the lumps. So very careful on that. If you want to do the good spun, please avoid it. Don't go one shot everything. So after mix up first round, they will become like that. Now we're going second part. So because the mixture is a bit dry like this, okay, it will become very thick, you see. So if a bit hard to fold, you add in some meringue here, okay? And the third part of the flour. If you are facing this kind of problem, you feel that the mixture sabayon is very thick because the cocoa powder, sometimes green tea powder or tea powder, they will absorb the moisture. So you you can add in some meringue to liquefy a little bit, so it will help you easy to fold in the dry ingredient. But not add in the butter because the butter is fat. It will heaviness than the air bubble. It will collapse the mixture. So now you see the mixture, it become like that. Alright, very thick. Now I add in all the meringue. Mix well, evenly. Okay, under this stage. Okay, now I will add all the butter inside. Warm butter. Gentle fold. Make sure the side also is mixed well. So you don't over mix. Once everything mixed well, you stop. If not, they will collapse a lot of bubble, which is your spine will be not so nice. Okay, until this stage. Sign in. Surface, okay, and smooth. Right now, I will go through the flexi pen with this one. Right, I will use the LC spatula to mix with the to spread the sponges. So last part, you need to even the all the edges and the thickness. I will clean the side. Okay. So 180 for 12 minutes. 180 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. So next step, I will ready the ganache. The cream, Madagascar chocolate, primoline or inverted sugar. We will do the ganache. So very simple, I will place the primoline.
frame You also can add the butter inside So we use medium heat Heat the cream until 65 degrees Celsius 65 degrees Which is simmer if you don't have thermometer And then I will ready the Ham render So make sure the butter, everything is melted to enough to heat the thing. I will keep stirring because the side and the bottom easy to stick the cream, then they will burn. So it's very careful. Okay, now simmer already. I'll add in the half part of the cream inside here. We wait for 10 seconds. So we need to do the emulsify nicely. So the emulsify for the uh, garnish or chocolate is very important. It must be beat until very smooth and nice result. And try to avoid the bubble. So you can get a result like that, it's good. Okay. So place the garnish in the one side. For less berry jam, we have the less frozen less berry, yellow pectin, lemon juice and the sugar so we'll add all the sugar with the pectin together we're using yellow pectin which is the slow reaction so we need to add at 45 or 50 degrees celsius to dilute and we're gonna to coat the jam until 104 degrees celsius so you also got the option to choose you can use a less raspberry puree of fresh raspberry or frozen raspberry three type okay the function is the same only the frozen and fresh one the fiber will be more you will taste the seed for puree you just take a very clean and then very uh, they don't have fiber anymore very sharp flavor of, of the raspberry so for the costing wise frozen will be slightly expensive cheaper for the fresh one will be slightly expensive okay so now we will cook so I will place the Hold the very inside. And we'll start the heat. For this time, we still need around 3 minutes like that. Okay, once you see the steamer, the steam come out from the side, then you can add in the sugar slowly. Don't one shot add everything because it will get the lumps, the pectin. So the show reaction pectin, you need time to cook. So this is now the temperature we're gonna to cook until 104. It will have to re add the yellow pectin. When you cook the big portion, you can use the wicks, okay? Small portion, you can use the spatula, no problem with that. Make sure you need to keep stirring to prevent the jam is stick to the bottom and burn so on this process you see the steam come out they will, you pour it the extra liquid inside they will become jam I slow down the heat a bit ok we will cook until 104 degrees celsius if you want to use the refoto thermometer you can check it's the 54 to 55 bridge then ok already The lemon juice or lemon puree is for last 
also it helps to re-add the yellow pectin. So your jam will kick set after the you meet the 104 degrees Celsius, you add in the lemon juice, it will help you to set the jam active. Which will be said active activate the pectin yellow. If you are practice enough, every time you cook the jam, you're confident ready, you check the texture, you already know which texture you want. Okay? So it's almost there. Alright, I will stop the heat and add in the lemon juice. We add the pectin. And I will continue cook for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Okay, 30 seconds. So this is the gem, you see. Alright, we left 11 seconds like that. So I will show you the spun. Okay guys, this is the joker spun. Okay, you need to double check whether they cook or not. So you touch it. They won't sink inside, then which is cooked. And then you will see the side slightly shrink and smaller a bit, which is done. Because during this process, the evaporate the liquid, liquid inside the sponge, they will, the size will be slightly thicker and shrink. Okay, so I put one side. I already prepared the one cool down one early morning so that we will faster the process. So this is the spun I ready in this morning. So I do one thing. Now we'll apply all the components I done onto this cake. So first thing I will do is I'll brush the syrup on top of the spun. So it's Yulok, so you present to the Christmas time or dinner. You brush the syrup is good for retain the moisture. And then at least you keep the cake for two days, also no problems. When your family or your customer eat, they also will enjoy the cake, which is not too dry. The alcohol is depend on you. Like we are Asian, we don't go too strong flavor of the alcohol. So you can add half of the volume cream de cassis or another half is a ribina, or maybe you want to use the Puree to replace, also no problem with that. If not, you can use Kush or other kind of the berries. Alcohol, distilled one. Okay. After done, I will ready the jam. I also pre cook Okay. Take the volume you want. Some people they like jam, some people they don't like. So I just do sprinkle, spread a thin layer of the raspberry. I will put slightly little at the side because you see I didn't coat until here because normally we will cut the side to trim the sizes you want. Normally we will throw the side. Okay. So you now check everywhere which is enough. I just want thin layer. If you go too much jam, also will be increase the sweetness. Okay. Next one, the ganache. I also prepare early. Take the potion around eighty gram to one hundred grams. Okay, spread it to four sides. Just thin layer, no need too much. Now the balance will be changed. So, uh, raspberry and the dark chocolate is a very common and then it's a very classic combination of the French cuisine or maybe French pastry. If you don't like, you can change to the cherry at uh, the back forward flavor also can, no problem with that. 
Okay. Okay, now I'll do one thing. I will start to roll it. I pull the cake is top. Make sure it stick nicely. Okay. Like that. Let it hold. Then make sure the size, everything go through good. Okay. Okay, like that. So we use the tray to trim the side. You hold the bottom. So we we'll apply the same garnish on the surface. But before that, we need to trim. If you don't want to too early apply the you can keep the thing inside the freezer first to maintain the shape. Alright, so I just take the size I want. See, this is the extra one. So I will apply the ganache fully coated. Okay, remember use a thick ganache, which is the ganache you after done, you keep it in the AC room. For around 3-4 hours only you apply. So once you add all the ganache on top already, you can get a moisture retain for your bush. So now the side as well. Here a bit thin so I will place some more ganache to easy to make the shape. This one is freedom, huh? if you want to go straight, it's up to you. Okay, now I'll clean the side. Before I transfer to the plate, I will do one thing, I will sprinkle the cocoa powder. So there is a normal cocoa powder over here. Before you transfer, you clean your spatula. Okay, we clean the side. Like fingerprint of our hand, you will need. Okay. You can pick the which part is the fun you want to go. Pick here. Okay, for decoration is the freedom. Okay. So I have the some of the berry and cherry. I have the Christmas tree white chocolate deco. Which is I using the stencil to do. 
and I have the APCA logo and I do some of the meringue so now I will start deco so I will place the logo in the center And you can go with the prism tree. That will be berries. So it's a persist with some cherry. So this one is the bush chocolate from Boa. Okay, or less berry by today. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask now. I hope you enjoy this recipe. The berries you can change less berry, strawberry up to you. Okay. So today I choose the bad berry and uh, a bad berry with the blueberry, and then some with the cherry and the meringue. Okay, meringue decoration normally we also do in the Christmas. Okay, if you have any question, you can ask. So before you ask, I will slide the cake first. I let you see the middle. From this one, you can see the jam and the ganache is stick together, and then you roll, you, you roll the bush so you get like the you lock style, and then the outside with the ganache, cocoa powder, and then the some decoration. 